Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss inverse property. So now let us first discuss inverse property of addition and also called the additive inverse property. So here this property states that for every real number there exists an another real number that is called its opposite so such that when they are added together you get the additive identity that is zero. So here we can say that a plus opposite of a that is minus a which will be equal to zero. So here a is the real number and minus a is the opposite of a and when added together we get the result zero that is additive identity. So here minus a represents the opposite or the negation of the number a. So for example, if 4 is the given number, then the additive inverse of 4 will be minus 4. And similarly, if the given number is 10, then the additive inverse of 10 will be minus 10. And now let us discuss inverse property of multiplication. So here this property is also called the multiplicative inverse property. So here it states that for every real number, except 0. There is another real number that is called reciprocal or multiplicative inverse such that when these both numbers are multiplied together we get a multiplicative identity that is number 1. So now let us represent it symbolically. So here there is a number a and the reciprocal of a will be 1 by a and when both are multiplied we get multiplicative identity that is 1. So in other words we can say that when we multiply a number with its reciprocal they cancel out to get 1. For example if the given number is 9 so the reciprocal of 9 will be 1 by 9 that is nothing but multiplicative inverse. And again if the given number is 25 then its multiplicative inverse will be 1 by 25. So now let us see few more examples. So coming to the first example that is 25 is added to a sum number so that we get here 0 that is additive inverse. So here plus sign we can say that the opposite of 25 is to be added that is nothing but minus 25 is added to 25 so that we get the result 0. So here coming to the next example Seeing the multiplicative sign, we can say that multiplicative inverse is to be multiplied with the given number. So here multiplicative inverse of 27 is 1 by 27 and multiplying 1 by 27 with 27, we get the multiplicative identity that is 1. And similarly coming to the third example, we can add here the opposite of 196 that is minus 196 so that we get the result 0. And coming to the fourth example here, so here 209 is to be multiplied with its reciprocal that is 1 by 209 to get the multiplicative identity 1. So this was the basic introduction on inverse property. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.